Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sridhar Reddy, Assistant Professor of Physics from Government Degree College for Women, Nalgonda. Welcome to my channel, Sri Quantum Academy. Today I am going to discuss with you a topic, a, a equipotential surfaces. This is from electromagnetic theory subject. I will show you this uh, concept with animations. What is equipotential surface? Equipotential surface is a surface on which electric potential is same at every point on the surface. That means, see here this is a surface, take 4 points, find out electric potential at this point and this point and this point and this point. Now, if you find out electric potential on that 4 points, you will get same value. That means, all the points on that surface have equal electric potential. That surface is called equipotential surface. In another way, the locus of all points which have the same electric potential is also called equipotential surface. See here, this is my equipotential surface. I am taking two points. If I find out electric potential, this is Va and if you find out electric potential, this is Vb. Since it is a equipotential surface, all the points have same potential. That means, Va is equal to Vb. Now, Va is equal to Vb. If I find out the potential difference, that means the difference in potentials, potential difference Va minus Vb is equal to 0 because they are equal. Now, next point is on the equipotential surface, the potential difference between two points is 0. Potential difference between two points 0 means what is the definition for potential difference? The work done to move a charge between two points. Now, potential difference Va minus Vb is equal to 0 that implies W by Q is equal to 0. So, W is equal to 0. So, next point is on equipotential surfaces, potential difference between two points is 0 that implies the work done to move a charge between two points is also 0. So, potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface is 0 that implies work done to move a charge between two points is also 0. Next, see here, here is my point charge Q which is situated at a place. Now, if I draw electric lines of force, they are always outward from the center. Now, navy blue color are my electric lines of force. Now, at a distance R, take a point, find out potential at that point V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. This is potential due to a point charge at a distance R. Now, what I am doing? Just I am drawing a circle with radius r and taking center as q. Now, every point on this circle is at equal distance from the center, right? So, all the points have same potential, right? See here, this is my uh, circle with radius r. Now, what I am doing? I am taking all the points on that circle. If you see the distance from the center, every point is at same distance r only, right. Now, what I am doing? At one point, my v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. Now, take another point, same distance. So, again 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r, again 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. That implies on this circle, all the points are at equal distances. So, I will get potential equal for all the points. Now, if you join all these points, this surface is called equipotential surface. If you clearly observe here, the direction of electric field is like this, everywhere outward from the center. But my equipotential surface is like a circle. So, that is perpendicular to the, see here. So, equipotential surface is perpendicular to the direction of the electric field in case of my point charge. Right. So, from this it is very clear, if I take every point, now all points are at same distance. So, my V becomes equal for all points. Now, the locus of all these points which have the same potential is called equipotential surface. Right. Now, see here, definition for equipotential surface is locus of all points which have the same electric potential. Now, take a point charge Q, if I take a distance R1, then what is my potential? V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R1 here. 
right. If I draw a circle like this, here I have drawn a sphere, if this is 3 dimensional view sphere. On the sphere take any point that is a at a distance r 1 from the center that means all the points on the sphere are at same distances. So, v is also same for all the points on this sphere. So, what I can say equipotential surface is a sphere in this case right. In two dimensional view this is my circle only two dimensional view I am observing. Now, if I take another point at distance r 2 again I will get a equipotential surface like a circle again another distance again another distance that means all concentric circles from the center are equipotential surfaces at if my charge is point charge that means equipotential surfaces are concentric circles or spheres if my charge is a point charge. See in three dimensional view this is a sphere my charge is q which is at center at a distance r is the radius. Now take any point on the surface every point is at distance r. Now, my potential is at all points v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r only that means, now my this sphere is a equipotential surface now. So, in 3 dimensional if there is a point charge then my equipotential surface is a sphere in 2 dimensional it is a circle. So, all concentric circles. Now, if my point if my charge is a point charge then they are circles, but let us suppose my field is uniform electric field then what to get? See here the direction of the electric field is from plus to minus. So, let us consider positive charges stationary and negative charges stationary they are situated at a point now the direction of the electric field is like this. So, I am observing electric field from left to right. So, this is my electric field now how to find potential V is equal to minus integral E d L. Now, if I find out equipotential surface for this electric field I will get a planes like this parallel planes which are perpendicular to the electric field direction. So, equipotential surfaces are parallel planes in case of electric field is uniform right. If my uh, charge is a point charge then they are circles, if my electric field is uniform then they are planes. La next one is work done to move a charge, see here there is a charge q at a distance r my potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. If I draw a locus of all points with same distance, now at every point V becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r that indicates this is my equipotential surface. Now, take two points A and B, what is potential at A is V A and potential at B is V B. What is V A? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r only because same distance. What is V B? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r only because same distance. So, if I take the difference between these two. V A minus V B that becomes 0, W by Q that is equal to 0 that means work done is also 0 that indicates the potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface is 0 that indicates work done to move a charge between two points on equipotential surface is 0 right. Next one equipotential surface properties. Equipotential surface is a surface on which electric potential is same at every point on the surface. In another way the locus of all points which have the same electric potential is called equipotential surface. The work done to move a charge from one point to other point on the equipotential surface is 0. Equipotential surfaces are circles concentric circles or spheres if the charge is a point charge and equipotential surfaces are parallel planes if the electric field is uniform actually always electric field is perpendicular to the equipotential surface. Equipotential surfaces are acts like a wave fronts in case of optics right. This is about equipotential surfaces thank you please subscribe my channel and watch comment share my videos. If you have any doubt on any topic let me know I will post you animations with on the same topic.